Hi, my name is John Wellborn and I am a fat loss and body transformation coach and I help individuals lose upwards of 100 to 150 pounds in a very efficient amount of time to help them claim their freedom, claim their lost energy, get the confidence they've always wanted and achieve that lifestyle and quality of life that they've always envisioned for themselves, they've just never been able to grasp. And today I'm going to teach you the biggest reason why you are probably not hitting your goals and how to overcome it. Now, let's go ahead and get into it. Now, if you wanna lose 100 pounds, there's a lot that needs to happen for you to lose 100 pounds. It's not just about nutrition and exercise. It's a big part of it. It's about mindset. It's about what you believe. It's about changing the way you perceive the world. It's about changing the way you think of yourself. It's about overcoming barriers and it's about overcoming the fears that you have in the back of your brain, either subconsciously or consciously. Now, we're gonna kinda of spend a little bit of time talking about uh, the difference between two different types of people. And the first type of person is somebody who decides that they want to accomplish something, and in this case, we're talking about 100 pounds. They do one thing. They decide they want to do it, they start and they don't stop until it's done. The difference between that person and the person who sees moderate or mediocre to very little results and success is that instead of person B or person number two doing what person number one did, they do this. They start and then they decide to try a different diet they decide to try a different diet after that because that one's more popular. And after they get off of this fad diet kick, they start going on, you know, on to workout kicks, the better Instagram follower who gives them a better program, but it doesn't really help them. So they go back to what they were working on. That doesn't really work. So they go back to what gave them original results at the beginning and they start seeing some results again. And then they start this new fad diet that they found on the internet. And all of a sudden, what should have taken you one to two years to do, depending on if you're losing one pound to two pounds per week, is now taking you about five to six. And that sucks. Because unfortunately, the reality is, for someone who wants to lose 100, 150, 80 pounds, they probably quit right about here. Isn't that sad? That's sad. I'm saddened by that. About two years in, the only difference between this person and that person is that this person's done and this person's still frustrated. And so if you know somebody who was person one and maybe you're person two and you've quit in the past or you're just too afraid to start, it's probably because you're comparing, and this is where the mindset stuff comes in, you're comparing yourself to person one. You're not really seeing the big picture, you just see that this person lost 100 pounds. And you see yourself still 100 pounds too heavy, maybe you got some success and maybe you lost 20 pounds. And so you're seeing this. You're, going, you're looking at their end goal and saying, why didn't I accomplish it? We started at the same time. It's because somewhere along the line you freaked out, you got scared, you allowed the idea fairy to fuck up your progress and unfortunately that'll probably do you in because you'll get so frustrated you'll be so upset about this that it's gonna cause more harm than you know how to deal with and so I'm trying to show you the danger of moving from one thing to the next. Because if you move from one thing to the next, it's not like you're moving from, okay, so intermittent fasting gets me this far. Now I'm gonna switch to paleo and that's gonna get me this far. And now I'm gonna switch to this and that's gonna get me this far. And now I'm gonna switch to this. It's not a straight line. What you're actually doing is you're derailing yourself over and over and over again. And I know a lot of clients who purposely do this because they're afraid to know what it's gonna be like 100 pounds lighter because they've never been 100 pounds lighter. I know people who do this on purpose subconsciously because they're afraid of change. And they don't know if their friends or their spouse, husband, 
is going to look at them the same way that they did or maybe their lives might change maybe they'll start making more money and they won't know what to do with it they don't know how their families will react and so staying the same is more has more security than getting 100 pounds lighter because there's that's, that's new and so they self-sabotage it's very common I see it all the time every day and so I'm making this video because I want to encourage you to self-reflect and see which one are you are you somebody who started and didn't stop till they're done pick the program pick the nutrition dialed it in and then didn't stop didn't didn't was laser focused time collapsed everything and didn't let anything derail them or were you somebody who started got scared didn't follow their nutrition plan decided that it was the nutrition plan that was the problem so they got a new one and then it was the workouts that were the problem and then they went back to the original nutrition plan that they had and all of a sudden it's taken them three times as long to get half maybe half the results are you that person because if you're that person this is the problem Never try to write in bubble letters if you never write in bubble, bubble letters. Fear. Maybe you're scared to eat more like, uh, like you're supposed to because you're afraid of gaining weight. So you have it in your brain that you're supposed to eat less and less and less. And when it doesn't work, you continue to eat less and less and less, which causes more of the problem because you're afraid of eating more. Very common. I just talked to a new client about that yesterday. Maybe you're afraid of knowing what you're going to be like 100 pounds lighter. Maybe you're afraid of knowing what life is going to be like 100 pounds lighter. Fear is what's causing you to sabotage. Fear is what's not allowing you to get to where you want to be in a very efficient amount of time. Fear keeps you from being committed to your nutrition. Fear keeps you from being committed to your strength training and your walking and your activity level. It's not time, everybody has time. It's about priorities at that point. You're afraid to put in the work because you're afraid of being rejected again. It's easier to stay invisible than it is to become visible and be at the risk and risking everything and possibly becoming invisible again because the transition from visible to invisible is more painful than just staying invisible. Does that make sense? I hope that probably resonates with you. How do I know? Because I specialize in this stuff. I know the psychology behind it. I understand you, which is why I produce such good results when we talk about this stuff and I help people through it. So if this is you, if you're struggling with this, it is not your nutrition, it is not your exercising. You might have problems with those things, but it starts in between your ears, it starts up here. And somewhere along the line, you're gonna have to address the emotions and the fear behind this goal. If you're still mad at your mom for making fun of you when you are 12, you need to go deal with those emotions. If you're self-conscious about going outside because, and you wear bigger and bigger shirts, but subconsciously or consciously you know that the bigger the shirt you wear, the more noticeable it is, you're going to have to deal with that. And you have to be okay with knowing that this is a process journey. This is going to take time, commitment, dedication, and that it's going to take persistence. And so I encourage you to start making that paradigm shift from person two to person one. Don't stop until it's done. Believe in yourself. Get rid of the negative thoughts. Get rid of the negative emotions behind a goal like this. 100 pound goal, it's easy when you simplify. So I hope this helped you. I don't wanna make this video too long. I hope this helped you transition from person two to person one by getting rid of fear. Don't stop until it's done. Pick nutrition that you can stick to. Pick, new, pick a strength training and 
cardio program that you can stick to, that you enjoy, that works, and do not let yourself get derailed by yourself. If you can do that, you will dominate your path, I promise you. That's all I got for you, ladies and gents. I'll talk to you soon. I love you. Bye.